It's not me. I don't know who Wait, are you serious? It's not me. It's literally not me. No, I'm not it's moving at all. It's literally not me. We're basically saying our store is It's corn! A big lump of logs! It has the juice! It has the juice. And literally, the, this is corn juice. <laughs> oh my god. Hi, my name is Kareen, and today we are with LA Weekly Asia. Today we have a very special guest that most Asian Americans will recognize. We have Wang Fu Phil. <gasps> Hello! Welcome to Boko Mofu Cafe! Oh of course, I brought some, some yeah. liao for us. <laughs> <laughs> some boba nai cha. Wow, it's Oh, it's <laughs> Cool. Alright, so this is Phil. Hi, everyone. Uh, why don't you introduce yourself? Yeah, hi, my name is Philip Wang. Uh, I'm one of the co founders of Boko Mofu Cafe. I'm also a co founder of a a little YouTube channel called Wong Fu Productions. Um, we've been making short films and sketches for, actually this year is our 20th year. That's a reaction of like, oh my god, you're that old? <laughs> He's like, you've been, what? You know, growing up around boba shops and feeling like a strong sense of identity around boba shops, I wanted to open up my own. Um, and around 20, in 2019, we first opened. So we just celebrated our four year anniversary. And now we have uh, two locations, this one here in San Gabriel, right in the heart of the 626, and then also in Artesia, and we're opening up some other ones. We came up with this idea based off of Bopomofo, okay. where we have oh. our ancestors here <laughs> with us today. Oh, what? We have a little Bopomofo Ouija board. Oh my god. With our characters. That's spooky. Um, that we are all super familiar with. It's like the ABCs of Mandarin Chinese, so Bopomofo. Datanella, Gakaha, Dichishi, Dichishi, Udichishi. Yeah, you're missing some! The, There's supposed to be like the, the vowels down here, right? Uraria, where's, where's the Uraria? The ancestors are already upset. Yeah. So, Phil, yes. how did you choose the name for Bopomofo? Um, we realized that like a lot of our combinations were, we, we kind of joked was like ABC food. ABC is like American born Chinese. It's like, oh, like we grew up eating our parents food at home, but then we also go to school and eat cafeteria food. So we're like, oh my gosh, light bulb moment. We can also have play an homage to our heritage, Bopomofo Cafe. And like the first thing we like searched, like, does it already exist? Does it already? And it didn't exist. So we very quickly just like, you know, got that domain name and got all the handles, both more from that face. And it's also fun to say. You yeah, know? it is. Both although both although I realized after we made it, I, obviously we know like mofo, <laughs> you know, slang for something, but I didn't realize this, but in Cantonese, bopo or papo is, is another, like, it means bitch. Do you know that? I, so you just got two. So it's, I'm basically, we're basically things. saying our store is bitch motherfucker. <laughs> Um, so with the Ouija board, what we do is we're both going to put our hands on this, <laughs> you know, and our ancestors, whoever's with us right now, yeah, yeah, they're yeah. going to move our block. Oh, wait, it's moving. I'm not moving it. It's not me either. It's not me. I don't know who wait, are you serious? It's not me. It's literally not me. No, I'm not it's moving at all. It's literally not me. Someone's here with us and they want... No, 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 wait, this is really, wait, that's really freaky. I wasn't moving it. it I wasn't either. Something moved. Our, our block, and they want, they picked, um... Bopomofa Datanala Go! So many projects, they all have different um, meanings and memories associated, like, obviously, you know, Strangers Again was, was like our most viewed, and and I think it's funny that, that such an emotional short is one of our most viewed short with like over 20 million views. It shows that like a lot of our fans are actually very emotional people. Uh, we had a few years ago, we, we did a, a, a short or a funny sketch called Asian Bachelorette. I remember um, that. Iconic. This was before like, you know, a lot of the, the strides we made in representation Hollywood these days. So it was really cool to just kind of put that out there um, and think of like Asian men as leading men. Um, and uh, still. Yeah, the Bachelor's still. Yeah. I think it's because Asian guys aren't really trying to go on that show. You we know. have we have more important things to do <laughs> than go on reality shows to make Their us Their mothers will not let yeah. me. Um, but there's like a lot of little shorts and sketches and they all, they've all been great. Wait, I'm not this doing This is why it. Ouija boards freak everyone out. Like, wait. It just like gave me a little tingle yeah, to stop there. Go, 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 She. She. We have to sacrifice some things to our ancestors. Yes, to, yes, to yes. To cheer them up a little bit. Yes, of course. Okay, All right. this smells so good. We have that very large yesuji um, uh, filet. We have the Napa cabbage slaw. We have some Chinese pickled cucumbers in here. A Thai basil aioli. And it's all on a beautiful bolo bun. 
This one is our honey walnut shrimp burger. So we make our own shrimp patty in-house and we have candied walnuts and uh, we have a honey wasabi yuzu mayo. Oh, have you had this before? No, I haven't. Oh my gosh, okay. All right, you, you can in for a treat. I know I'm the owner, like, but I really love our food. I don't have to fake it. I just really love our food. You should get this. I've also heard really good things Here, about this. Here, have like, a bite. Everyone Take, talks about go, it. Go from the other side. Mm, it's so, like, perfectly crispy. <laughs> like, well, it's so good. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not oh. oh, right there? You should know that. Duh. Oh, very good. Duh. duh. No, duh. duh. It's duh. I recognize that I feel very lucky that I didn't grow up with that kind of identity crisis, mm -hmm. but I know that a lot of people have. So for me these days, a lot of what I do um, and what drives me is making sure that other people or other kids that are growing up feel confident in themselves and feel proud to be Asian. Um, I think a lot, of, a lot of things happened with the pandemic recently where people were made, made to feel like we were lesser or that we were, um, there's a lot of discrimination. I just want to make sure that, you know, we as a community feel that we're empowered, that we feel like we deserve to be here in America, taking up our own spaces. Um, that's a lot of what kind of drives me these days. Mm -hmm. Gone this way, what's oh, bringing oh. us over here? What? Oh, wow. right over here. Oh, oh my oh, gosh. My you know, I'm going to make you have to figure that out. I want to put you on the spot. Chi, chi, chi. There it is. We have mapo tofu, mapo tofu tater tots. I never know if I should say like the westernized way, mapo tofu, or if I should say mapo tofu. Um, and then we have a, your classic yansuji over here. We also give a choice. This might be blasphemous to some people, but we give a choice of white or dark meat. Because I actually really enjoy, this is my western side, I guess. I enjoy white meat. I got you the dark meat. I knew. I knew for this group, it would probably be the dark meat. I got it. All right, cheers. Cheers. It tastes like grandma's cooking. Really? Grandma put mama dough on the table sauce? The mama part. The mama It's great. I like this one. Just like the yesu, right? It's my favorite. Yeah. I don't know if you guys are noticing this. I feel like this audience would, would, would get it. Like a lot of boba, boba cafes, they're getting smaller. But I grew up, you know, when it was like, oh, you go to a boba shop to eat, to snack, you know, to play games and hang out for like a long time. So that's still a big part of our inspiration is that we want to continue to be that third place for people. And we got food here. Not a lot of places have food anymore. So, exactly. Yeah. I'm going to take things in my own hands. I'm just going to go there. Oh my God. I think honestly what, what keeps me going is kind of what I said earlier, just like being inspired and pushed by the community and what the community needs. Um, with Wong Fu specifically, um, same thing, like social media has changed a lot too. There's a lot more options, so I think these days with Wong Fu, um, I'm just, I just love to see more development of young talent. And also, yeah, there's still like a lot of stories that haven't been told yet. And I think like Hollywood, as much as it's great that we're getting movies and stuff, it moves very slow. So that's kind of what, what keeps me going. And I think also the fact that Wong Fu has never relied solely just on like my face. Although like I think people recognize me as it, like Wong Fu has been a place where we elevate other artists. It's all about bringing the next generation on so that Wong Fu can just be just like a hub for talent and content mm -hmm. rather than like just me every time. Because <laughs> you, you don't want to see this every time. It's okay. Right at the top. Because okay, that's both. the one I know. Okay, Sorry. There's no comp- Sorry, I was about to say there's no competition. I didn't mean that in like- <laughs> I really believe a rising tide lifts all boats. You know, Boba has become more mainstream than ever before. That's because there's so many businesses taking it out to all different parts of the city and the country so like more people are comfortable and more familiar with it. So I think it's great. Another reason why we actually did Fusion is because we knew that we weren't going to be able to compete with like some of these restaurants. And I don't want to compete with like that grandma that's, you know, folding dumplings over there. Like I'm very confident to say that everything on our menu, you can't find at other places. So you come specifically for this and you can go to the other places for those other great things. Yeah, speaking of, we haven't drank anything yet. Like, yeah. sorry, these have been like, so this what is, so this is a strawberry corn milk. So that's corn juice. This is a bala matcha, classic jasmine milk tea, but again, we don't use, we use lactose-free whole milk. Taro uh, sweet milk, so it's real taro. Taro's not purple. 
But the color we get from <laughs> beet juice. Okay, this is a brown sugar pudding milk tea. We make our pudding in-house with real eggs. So it's actually very expensive because eggs are expensive these days. So every time they're making this in the back, I'm just seeing all this yolk going. I'm like, ka ching, ka ching, ka ching. Oh my god. <laughs> but but here, it's all it's for you. It's corn. It's corn. A big lump of love. It has the juice. It has the juice. And literally, the, this is corn juice. <laughs> oh my god. You feel it? You taste it? I feel like I opened a can of corn, <laughs> and instead of pouring out the liquid, I just, you just kind of took it. a sip of but it. But then with like, with like some like mm, sweetness. But the strawberry, I can taste yeah. the strawberry at the end. So here we actually have like like vegetables in your boba, like corn. Coffee. We have a carrot Next matcha. Next time your mother yells at you for drinking beet too juice. much boba, you tell them that there was corn and beet juice. Yeah, you got you got your vegetable you serving at boba. And it's so healthy. Yeah. So I'm sensing that this ancestor went to UCSD. Okay. I don't even, I don't even know if the spots I went to are still there. Oh, I graduated in 2006. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> Roberto's the one with the blue chairs. Great uh, California burrito, carne, pollo asada fries. I'm gonna give a shout out also to Tapioca Express. I was the opening uh, team. It kind of opened up my appreciation to hospitality food service and led me to literally have the idea of like, oh, I think someday I might want to open up my own shop. And then anything on Convoy, anything on Convoy. Oh, of course. And there might be some other, you know, <laughs> other really great places coming to Convoy soon. Just leave it, we'll just leave it there. What did he say? Alrighty, so thank you so much to Phil for joining us here at LA Weekly Asia. I am Kareen, I will see you next time. Really appreciate it. All of course. these snacks that you yeah. brought us. That, that was I'm fun. taking home now. To <laughs> all of it. Yes. But thank you again for everything. No, thanks for Hopefully. coming by. Yeah. Thanks to LA Weekly for having me. And uh, yeah, come on by to Boba Mofo here in San Gabriel or Artesia. Um, yeah, we'd love to serve you. Hopefully we'll see you again soon.